Hello viewers and welcome to yet another windy day in West Sussex and in this video I'm going to share you my secrets to watering tree ferns. You get this right and you'll have fantastic specimens like this one behind me. So as I said before it's May, end of May and uh, your tree ferns now should have put out their first flush or fronds and uh, check out these bad boys. This one in front of me, that initial hit of fronds has 42, yes, that's 42 fronds that have come out of that trunk. That's the first flush of fronds, 42. And now if you've got 42 fronds, or <laughs> it's maybe even half that, 22 fronds, then you are doing a really good job. Uh, if you've got like four, five, uh, possibly six, then uh, your tree fern is probably struggling. But there's a technique. There are techniques that you can use to bring these specimens back looking as fancy. I mean, that's almost as good as you'd expect in the wilds of Tasmania. Um, so give me a second, I'm gonna pull out the hose and I'm gonna show you my secrets to watering these lovely tree ferns. Okay, so before I start watering, you need to understand what a tree fern is. You've got the, uh, you've got the, the top of the plant in here and it starts its roots from here. So all the roots go all the way down, all the way down, 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 into the ground. So rather than like a regular plant, where the roots start from the bottom and go down to the ground, on a tree fern, you've got the new growth up here, and the new roots start from up here and go all the way down. And because of that, this whole thing here, this whole trunk of effort, is like a big water bottle. It's there to store as much water as it can. So when you're watering, you have to do this. So we are looking at the crown, that's where all the fronds emanate from, that centerpiece there. And this is what you could call your apical tip. So the apical tip is the growth point where all no growth comes from. So first of all, we're going to put some water in there and let that drain down. Now you'll see shortly, once that starts to fill up, we'll start getting some leakage out the trunk. There you go, see that? And now that's not a lot of use, is it? I mean, it is going down to where the roots are in the ground, because there are roots in the ground, like you would expect with a regular plant. But you can't just fill up the top and then just let it overflow like that. That doesn't do it any good. So in order to mitigate that, there's a word for you, you have to do this. You need to give the outside of the trunk a really good soaking. And you see how the old little PTO stems are orientated. They sort of stick out like a like at an angle. And that's because if you water it like this, it kind of draws the water into the uh, middle of the trunk. So that's quite a clever design. It's very, you know, it's very well adapted to these uh, high water areas. You know, these are these are from Tasmania, as I said. They're from the cloud forest, not rainforest, a cloud forest. And you can get up to a meter of rain every year. So rather than just put it in the top, like we're doing here, go around, soak all of this, and we will see a difference once I've finished doing the whole trunk. I've just got to go around a little bit further. Right, so I've given this trunk a proper soaking. Now, check out what happens when I start to fill the, uh, the top with water and, and where the leakage goes now. So now that this trunk is fully turgid, for want of a better word, I'm gonna put the hose back into the crown and then see how the trunk copes with another mass of water. Right, so it's filling, it's filling, it's filling. Just waiting to see what's happening with the leakage. <laughs> Not much at the moment. It certainly isn't spilling out, so you know that. Yeah, look, just make sure, look, it's still on, look, it's still on. So that's in there, that's in there. But it's, it's doing this because it's, it's properly soaked on the outside. There you go, you just see a little bit of leakage, but all it does, it just goes back into the, uh, into the trunk. Yeah, you sort of seep in, seep in. That, I mean, that's what you want to see. That, you know, is a properly, fully charged trunk of water. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. All this watering does come at a price, and that price is the available nutrition that is inside the trunk, because as I said before, that is for the roots. Now, if you've completely filled up with water, any nutrition, any fertilizer within that body is gonna be diluted down, it's gonna be very thin, 
and then what you'll start getting is rather than dark green leaves and to be honest with you these aren't dark green yet um, you get very light green because it needs the nitrogen in the fertilizer to create the uh, the chlorophyll pigment and those chlorophyll pigments are like the batteries of a tree they're the ones that convert the sunlight into energy for the plant so once you finish doing your watering you have to give it a feed so you can buy specific uh, for a tree fern fertilizers but I like to use Miracle Grow because it's brilliant it always works okay so this has got a double dose of Miracle Grow in it not a regular dose a double dose and the reason for that is as soon as it goes into the trunk it's gonna dilute down because of all the water if you put in a regular dose you're gonna end up with like a third or a quarter dose by the time it's got in there so double dose with fertilizer after you've watered so let's go and do it Now, do we put the uh, fertilizer down the base where the roots are? No, we put it up here, the same place as we put all the water. So we pour it through the crown, a double dose. It keeps all that nutrition predominantly at the top end where the, where the uh, apical growth, the merry stem, all the, all the new roots, all the new growth goes and, 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 and just does its job properly. Now I'm pouring it in, there's no leakage because this is properly filled up with water and, the, and this trunk is doing its job, it's holding it in. And there you go. So those are my secrets to watering tree ferns. And uh, thank you for watching. Now, if you have any excellent tips that uh, you'd like to share with uh, other viewers, then let us know in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.